What if you could build a single brain for an entire country? Not a network of computers, but one massive AI system stretching 2,000 kilometers, thinking and learning as one. While the world is still trying to get data centers to talk to each other without crippling lag, China has reportedly done something that sounds almost impossible. They've built an AI supercomputing system that laughs at the laws of distance. But how did they achieve nearly perfect efficiency over a distance that should bring any supercomputer to its knees? The secret is a revolutionary piece of tech that makes data travel with the certainty of a Swiss train, and it could change the future of AI forever. This isn't science fiction. On December 3, 2025, China officially switched on a groundbreaking artificial intelligence computing system called the Future Network Test Facility, or FNTF. After over a decade of work, this colossal project connects multiple, geographically scattered computing centers into what acts like a single, cohesive supercomputer. Imagine linking the computing power of New York, Chicago, and Atlanta, and having them operate not as separate cities sharing data, but as if they were all in the same room. The network spans an incredible 2,000 kilometers, allowing different cities to pool their resources and raw computational power into one unified system. This isn't just about connecting computers, it's about making the distance between them practically irrelevant. Before we get into how they pulled off this incredible feat of engineering, if you're into the tech that will shape our future, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. You won't want to miss what's coming. So, why is this such a big deal? Why shouldn't this even be possible? It all comes down to two of the biggest enemies of computing, latency and overhead. Think about a video call with someone halfway across the world. Even with great internet, there's often that awkward little delay. That's latency, the time it takes for data to get from point A to point B and back. For us, a few hundred milliseconds is just an annoyance. But for a supercomputer making quintillions of calculations per second, it's a total disaster. Modern AI models, like the ones that power the tools we use every day, are trained using what's called distributed computing. You take a massive training job, break it into tiny pieces, and spread it across thousands of processors in a huge data center. These processors, or GPUs, have to be in constant, near-instant communication to sync their work perfectly. Now, Imagine trying to do that with processors that are 2,000 kilometers apart. The speed of light itself becomes a hard limit. The communication delay and the effort to coordinate everything, the overhead, would normally crush the system. Efficiency would tank. The computers would spend more time waiting for each other than actually working. A typical distributed system can suffer a significant performance hit from this, sometimes losing 20 to 40 percent of its power to overhead. This is the wall that has kept supercomputing locked inside single, city block-sized buildings. You just can't build a supercomputer that's thousands of kilometers wide, or so we thought. So, how did China get around this massive roadblock? The answer is a revolutionary technology at the heart of the FNTF, a deterministic optical data highway. Let's break that down. A normal network, like the internet you're on right now, is a best effort system. It's like a busy public highway. Your data packets are like cars hitting traffic, getting rerouted, or maybe even arriving out of order. There are no guarantees. A deterministic network, on the other hand, is like having your own private, reserved superhighway. It uses advanced tech to give your data a dedicated, guaranteed lane with absolute certainty. This means ultra-low latency and almost zero data loss. When researchers tested it by creating a digital traffic jam, a regular high-speed network slowed to a crawl, but the deterministic network kept its blistering speed without a single hiccup. It's a data superhighway with no traffic, no red lights, and a speed limit set only by physics. This is what allows China to connect computing centers 2,000 kilometers apart and achieve up to 98% of the efficiency you'd get from a single, unified data facility. That crippling performance overhead from traditional systems has been dramatically reduced. This network is so efficient that it basically makes the physical distance between the computers vanish. The entire 2,000-kilometer-wide system acts like one giant machine. 
It's like a nervous system for a nation, where signals travel with guaranteed precision. Getting to 98% efficiency is a wild technical achievement, but what does it actually do? What new powers does this unlock? First, it means training the world's most powerful AI models at speeds we haven't seen before. According to Liu Yunjie, the project's chief director, training a huge model requires hundreds of thousands of repetitive steps or iterations. On this new deterministic network, each iteration takes about 16 seconds. Without it, each step would take over 20 seconds longer, which adds up to months of extra training time. This radically speeds up the pace of AI development. Second, it lets them move colossal datasets in the blink of an eye. To show off its muscle, researchers at the launch ceremony took a massive 72 terabyte dataset from the Fast Radio Telescope, the world's largest, and sent it over 1,000 kilometers. The whole transfer took just 1.6 hours. To put that in perspective, sending that much data over a normal internet connection would take an incredibly long time. This has game-changing implications for science, medicine, and industry. It could mean doctors performing real-time robotic surgery from across the country with no lag, or nationwide industrial systems being synchronized and optimized in an instant. This network also aligns with China's national strategy of Eastern Data, Western Computing, a plan to process data from the populated East in the energy-rich Western regions. This project provides the super-reliable digital backbone to make that vision a reality, turning computing power into a national utility you can access as easily as water or electricity. It's impossible to talk about this without looking at the bigger picture. This isn't just about building a faster computer, it's a strategic play in the global race for AI dominance. While some countries focus on controlling advanced computer chips, China has been pouring money into the fundamental infrastructure to squeeze every last drop of power out of the chips they have. This 2,000-kilometer system is a perfect example of that strategy, building a unique architectural advantage that's hard for anyone else to copy. The project is a cornerstone of China's goal to become self-reliant in key technologies and a leader in the digital world. By creating this massive, interconnected system, China can speed up breakthroughs in everything from AI and next-gen networking to autonomous cars and complex data analysis. And this ground-based network is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. China is also aggressively pursuing space-based supercomputers. They've already launched early-stage demonstrator satellites for what's called the three-body computing constellation. The long-term ambition is a fleet of potentially thousands of AI satellites that can process data directly in orbit, bypassing earthly limits on energy and cooling. The strategy is clear. Build an unmatched, multi-layered computing infrastructure on the ground and in space to secure a lead in the AI-powered future. China's 2,000-kilometer AI computer represents a paradigm shift. It challenges the very definition of a supercomputer, changing it from a machine in a building to a distributed, nation-spanning intelligence. By solving the problem of distance with its revolutionary deterministic network, China has built an infrastructure that can accelerate AI development and data processing to a level we've never seen before. The implications are profound. It will fast-track scientific research, enable new real-time technologies, and reshape the strategic map of global tech competition. This project, more than a decade in the making, is a stunning example of long-term strategic planning and a bold statement of China's ambition to build the future of the Internet and AI on its own terms. This all raises a huge question. As computing continues to bend the rules of physics, will we see other nations or even continents try to build their own unified digital brains? Or will this remain a unique advantage in the global race for AI supremacy? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.